Uh, hello there, it's Paul Carenza here, British Broadcasting Century Podcast, with Jim Salmon, Hi. the legendary Jim hello. Salmon. With uh, the legendary Paul Carenza. Well, this is it. We are two <laughs> radio history buffs here. Uh, uh, we're called Anoraks. Anoraks, <laughs> quite right too. Radio hams, amateurs. Two MT Anoraks. Two MT Anoraks. And where are we? We're in Lawford Lane. Lawford Lane. probably, uh, well, we think... We need Tim, the, we need our, <laughs> our, our mentor, Tim W, to uh, tell yeah. us if we're right or wrong. We think we are at the place where the lane would come along here and just the other side of that hedge would have been the 2NT hut. So this is Rittle in Essex, yes. Lawford Lane, yeah. and there was a green here, wasn't there? Yeah. And well, now... this All of this was open fields, yeah. so whilst it's now been built on, and the other side of the hedge, this side, uh, was open fields again, but that I think was the airfield yeah. that we, we, we've referred to in earlier days. So we're going to have a little wonder, yeah. uh, essentially to the pub. Yes, yeah. except <laughs> it's not to the pub. We can't go in there anymore. Drink. No, and we it's no longer a fish and chips. No, exactly, it's no longer a pub. But the story, if those who've not heard it on the podcast or the many other places we've, we've waffled on about it over the years, um, the Rittle Hut, where regular British broadcasting began, uh, out of the Marconi, uh, the research department. But what they would do is they would go to this pub at the end of their working day on a yeah. Tuesday and then plan this thing called broadcasting that they were asked, and they, and, asked to do. And I think it, it helped the fact that they probably would have had a fair amount of time. I guess they would have set the transmitter up in the hut yeah. and then walked up here uh, for their fish and chips and a, <laughs> a few G&Ts or yep. I'm sure a few other things as well. And I'm guessing they probably had an hour, a couple of hours maybe up here. Yeah. And um, so they were probably... A bit more loosened up when they went back to their place <laughs> yeah, of work. To, I guess uh, so. And obviously, we've got to use our suspend our disbelief a little. That you know, this is all the houses are gone, the greens here. Yeah. But we, th I thought it would be quite good to do the walk. Yeah. Uh, I've got a different video where I've got Marconi House from Magnet House, which they did in central London. But just to get a sense of the geography and the t the time it would take, and also we'll have a little pause here and see yes. a certain couple of signs here that give us a little nod to the past. So firstly, look, Lawford Lane, there we are. Which in those days was called Lowford Lane. Lowford Lane. The old maps show it as L-O-W. Ah, yo, yes, the long, long low hut for long low people on Lowford, Lowford Lane. Lowford Lane, yeah, there yeah, you yeah, are. yeah, yeah. And next to that, Melba Court, and a little it's sign here. where Dame Nellie Melba never sat. <laughs> she'd never, she, she'd never, <laughs> she'd never been here. here. <laughs> she'd never come to Rittle. Um, but look, there's a nod here to, uh, to some of those who have, have uh, been part of this story. The Ritual Hut, there's the team. And there's how it used to be on this very site, which as you can see now is, is flat. Uh, but um, the way of the pub is that way, so we're gonna yeah. keep uh, going that way. But Jim, you're saying that Chelmsford's that way. So yes, when, yes. when Peter Eckersley had to leave the Ritual Hut mm. to go and nick some parts from yes, the Chelmsford yes, Works, which yeah. he did on an alarming basis. Th this this that was way, the way would have taken him this this lane, although well, you can't drive down it now, this lane would have taken him out onto I think what is now the A414, which is a, one of the major routes from the west side of Chelmsford into Chelmsford. And I'm not sure, uh, again, Tim will know more than us, but um, that would have led him to the uh, the New Street premises. Mm. And also, I'm not sure what other premises they had at that time, but there were other buildings, Marconi buildings in Chelmsford. So yeah. I can imagine that would have been the way the motorbike and sidecar would have yes, gone down yes. this way here. And also, I, I think the very first um, Rittle broadcasts they had, the, uh, the motorbike and sidecar would, would go from here to Chelmsford Station to yeah. pick up artists yeah. and the gramophone player yeah. that but Arthur Burroughs had shipped on the, yeah. well, not shipped, put on the train, and yeah. the gramophone records he carefully selected. Yes in yeah. central London yeah. to in insist that they do this yeah. this broadcasting thing properly yeah. uh, here. So that was, um, that's Chelmsford that way. What's interesting in this line is that there are some houses that probably do date back to to that time. Obviously a lot of new ones here, but yeah. certainly at the end of the lane, I probably guess they're probably 1900s, 1910s, some of those houses. State well, Rose well one of these, so... there's going to be, is it Deodora, the, 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 uh, uh, yeah. the landlady's yes. house, where yeah. a lot of the team were staying. Yes. Um, and they'd do their rehearsals there for Cyrano de Bergerac. And yes. Yeah. Things like that. Yeah. It? So, uh, but it's of course, a... the other thing to remember, we're walking up, we're, we're walking yeah. up the lane. Yeah. But, um, they were, but at some point, <laughs> yeah. we don't know how many times, but they would have been walking down the lane yeah. with something on a trolley. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Potentially the, the pub piano in a yes. wheelbarrow or yes. something like that, isn't it? 
Um, which so, might have been quite easy to bring it down here. Yeah, this is. But as we're doing the walk now, yeah, that's it might true. Have been a bit more difficult. It back it's a slight again. incline down here, isn't <laughs> yeah, there? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So end of the work day, they're going this way, sober, yeah. hopefully, yeah. potentially. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to go around the corner yeah. and they find the pub. Yeah. They plan the Tuesday evening show. Yeah. There's a van coming. Yes, as we and, uh, and then they <laughs> saunter back, maybe half oiled, yeah. on gin and fish and chips, yeah. maybe with a pub piano. Yeah. So, um, I mean, in terms of the, you know, I, in fact, when I got here, I'd not, I've not been here before, but I thought that was the village green. I thought, oh, this no, is the village green. No, no, no. no this no, is. Uh, the village green is, is much bigger, and uh, around the corner here, the duck pond, and. Uh, yes. It's, a lot, it's, it's still a lovely little village. Yeah. Considering how close it is to Chelsea. Yeah, because this idea, I had this impression that the village, the Riddle Hut on the village green with a duck pond next to it. Yeah. yeah but actually, you've got that. your duck pond over there. Yeah. You've got the pub over here. Yeah. And you've got the Rittle Hut, uh, the art, which was an old army hut, wasn't it, in the First yes, World War? Yeah, yeah. Back where we've just been at, uh, at so-called Melba Court. Yes. Um, and this is was the pub, but it's now an Indian restaurant, isn't it? Yeah, it's called so, Pakwan. So there it's you go. It's got a very good reputation. It's, yeah. Uh, it does some nice food in there, um, and that's for a few years now been yeah. been an Indian restaurant. So, uh, but we, you know, if you if you think back, you know, just uh, squint your eyes a little bit, just think, oh yeah, just the yeah. of the house is gone. Yeah. Then this was the way, and look, they've even got a little green plaque there. Yes. To um, memorialise what was here a hundred years ago this year. And I think the old pictures on the front of the building there, you can see the white, the, the grey colour there, and the white hanging down. That was the old pub sign, and uh, okay. I think. I'm fairly sure on some of the old historic pictures you can see Cock and Bell there. And uh, yeah. yeah, so that we've just done the walk. So there you go. So we'll leave it there. Yeah. Pub, hut. Yeah. Chelmsford. Yeah. I'll go to the pub. And uh, two anoraks. <laughs> and two anoraks. There you go. So the two empty story yeah. 100 years ago yeah. lived yeah. on. Thank, Thank you, Jim.